Hello everybody, my name is Ilya. And my name is Tyler. Together we make up Kavri, a couple that loves to play board games. And loves to eat and forage mushrooms. Well, I've never foraged a single mushroom in my life. Sure? Yeah. Not even for fun? Not properly. Ah. Well, today we'll be doing a review of... Wonderwoods. And why are we talking about mushrooms? Because that's what this game is about. There's always wonder in mushrooms. Mm -hmm. So basically, in Wonder Woods, you'll be collecting a bunch of different mushrooms, hoping that you'll score the most points, but the cards are all hidden in the value of what each mushroom is worth. And you'll have to use a bit of deduction to figure out and strategically bluff your way through to score the most points. Mm -hmm. This game is published by Blue Orange Games and is designed by Eli Thomas Wolf. Well, with that out of the way, let's jump right into our review and start with our comparables. Exactly. So my comparable, this one was difficult because it felt very yes. like unique in a lot of ways. And I couldn't think of a game where the points for the certain things you collect are revealed at the end. And that was what I was trying to think yeah, of really hard. Exactly. So if you think of one, let me know because I'm really curious of, because I'm sure I'll be like, ah, that's what it is. Yeah. But the one I came up with is Point Salad. So the reason I chose Point Salad is because throughout the game, you're taking goals, but you're also taking salads. The little point vegetables. Little vegetables to make it, your salad. To make your salad. <laughs> <laughs> so as you take them, sometimes at the end of the game, some are worth nothing because you haven't taken the goals to correspond to them. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they're worth negative points as well because it's a little bit more planned and open information. Well, it is open information because you know what's going to happen. Where in Wonder Woods, it's almost a mystery where some are some of the things you've taken worth more points or others, you'll find out at the end. But it gave me that feel of collecting things yeah. and hoping that you score the most points at the end of the game based on what you collected. Yeah. What about you? Yeah, this one was also very tough for me and I can't say point salad. <laughs> so I said Arboretum, mm -hmm. which is just like a tab. Well, I, is it because trees look like mushrooms? Large mushrooms. They're just giant mushrooms. <laughs> no. Um, basically, you're building like your own little tableau um, mm -hmm. in Arboretum, and you've got like cards in your hand as well. Mm -hmm. And you basically can like play cards, grab cards from the middle, um, but based on what's in your hand at the end of the game is how you end up scoring your Arboretum, which is, I guess, like a giant or it's collection, like a of, collection trees, of trees. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and sometimes that means if somebody else has the right cards, they can knock you out of scoring the points that you've tried to build up on your board. So it's this weird like give and take of like, oh, I should put this card down even if it's a high value or maybe I should keep it in my hand because it'll help me secure like the majority. Mm -hmm. And I think that um, Wonder Woods with your hand management, you've got like knowledge of what the cards are not and then they're uh, becomes a moment where everybody has an opportunity to reveal cards so you potentially get more information but at the end of the day it all depends on what the card is in the center and how many resources you've collected you wait till the very last moment and then ta-da boom but sometimes you do know more than others which is similar in our breed because sometimes you know you're gonna win mm -hmm. because you have the cards in your hand that you need yeah you can like deduce yeah. from what you have in your hand and what everybody else has played Yep. A little bit of deduction. Mm -hmm. Well, those are our two comparables. Let's jump into why we think people should check Wonder Woods out. Well, first of all, it's a 15 minute game. Yes. And it packs a whole lot of game in those 15 minutes. You'll be collecting mushrooms, you'll be playing cards. There's a lot of mechanics in it, but it's also really intuitive to teach. It's very quick to get to the table and the components are beautiful. Yes, yeah. It is a beautiful game. It's short, simple, like Ilya said, quick and easy to teach. I think one thing I'll say too is one of my measurements for a good board game is like the wow factor. Is there going to be, not, not necessarily a wow factor, but like a big moment factor. Is there going to be something that we'll all laugh about and be like, remember the one time when this happened? Yeah. And this game has that because sometimes, and even in the first game that we played, I remember three of the mushrooms ended up being only worth one point. Yeah. And we were just laughing because like, how, <laughs> how are all of these mushrooms worth one point? And then the very last one was worth seven. So it's just basically like who collected more of that mushroom? There wasn't a lot of variation. Yeah, exactly. But I think like when you do that reveal, it's like a big, like everybody's, one person's gonna laugh, one person's gonna cry because they've scored so poorly. But it's that big reveal and a big moment that I personally really enjoy in games. Mm -hmm. It is interesting because like you do have those moments to reveal and I think it's 
always fun to hear what people have to say like mm -hmm. afterwards like oh when I saw that five I was really worried because I had the three in my hand so it was either a one or a seven and I wasn't sure if I wanted to like go all in mm -hmm. or pull back because it could have like bit me in the butt so there is like a moment after the game that happens that's very exciting to like see people's thought process of what happened based on how you even like decided to play mm -hmm. the card so that's a lot of fun. I also like the layers in deduction. So like you have your cards, so it's as simple as you know the cards in your hand are not what is on the table. And yeah. if you play a high player count game, there's only two cards. So you yeah. only have two pieces of information and that makes it easier almost in a way because you don't have to overthink everything. But you do have the opportunity to be like, hmm, Tyler chose to take that mushroom first. I wonder why. Does he know something? Or is he trying to fool the whole table of what he's taking? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it is a lot of fun, especially when you get like both the same mushroom cards in your hand, because then you can really play with like what's going on with everybody else and just drop a five and a three or something mm -hmm. like that. And yeah, get into their heads mentally, just try to uh, throw them off from what you know. And I think that's what I like the most about this game is it's a very neat take on that. Mm -hmm. And part of the reason it was so hard for us to come up with comparables was because this is such a different take on something that we're both not usually like the biggest fans of, like bidding um, or bluffing, I guess. Bluffing, and um, bluffing mixed with deduction. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's not like the greatest of uh, me mechanics, but there is like smaller mechanics that are dripped into the game that make it a lot, um, a lot of fun. Yeah, and I think the last thing I'll mention for this section as well is that the game is mainly eco-friendly, so there's very limited plastic in it. The components are wood. There's also a little uh, paper bag that stores all the components, and we love to see that in games. Always support sustainable practices, so that's Wonderwoods has that. So if you're interested in that, that's definitely a game you should check it out. It's a plus to check it out, that's for sure. Plus, plus, plus. So on the other hand, why should you not check it out? Why should we not check it out? Well. I think kind of to your point about why you should check it out, like mm -hmm. those big moments, those big moments are great. But in terms of like trying to win the game mm -hmm. or lose the, or and you end up losing the game, those, those uh, score differences can kind of feel bad. Mm -hmm. And if you're the person that collected the ones that were just worth one point, well, the person over here got all the seven point ones, like, like the discrepancy you. is major and you just feel at a bit of a loss when it does happen so you there's something that's something you definitely want to watch out for yeah you definitely could and I think to add on that as well is there's not a ton of variation to strategy each game you're gonna try to deduce and like make a couple of choices and I think a lot of strategies to reveal or not to reveal your cards to get yeah. those extra baskets yeah. Uh, but beyond that, the game will feel very similar with the strategies feeling really similar. But I think that makes sense for the 15 minute game that it is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I think this goes um, into it a little bit more with the mm -hmm. how fast of a game it is. But I did feel like the theme was a bit loose here. So you are foraging mushrooms, you're using your baskets to do that. But in terms of like doing playing the game like it could be really anything why like. are the one mushrooms once yeah yeah is there worms in them yeah are they Did not someone in high demand them? yeah is there yeah so I, I feel that yeah definitely well what are our overall thoughts for wonder woods yeah i think it's a good quick easy game to teach i think it's a lot of fun i think if you're looking for a game that you're not necessarily like key on winning and just having those moments of like enjoying it with your friends speak for yourself i am keen to win wonder what i'm sure everybody is but i'm just saying like this is one of those games where it's not about winning per se i think this game is a lot more about the um the journey. wrap ups yeah the experience i think that that's what this game provides so if that isn't something that you're interested in, I'd avoid it. But if that's something you're looking forward to, or you want to add an addition to almost like a party-esque type game, mm -hmm. I think Wonderwoods is a great addition to your collection. 
I think what I'll say is I was really pleasantly surprised at this game, mainly because bluffing and deduction aren't really my mechanism, or bluffing with deduction isn't my mechanism of choice. So I'll, the low expectations have been exceeded. Uh -huh. But what I really like about it is that it's such a good introduction to mechanics to other games because you essentially are placing workers to get certain things. You are, yeah. Then you're also hand managing and deciding what to choose. So there's a lot of elements you can say like, oh, like remember when we played one Woods, this is similar to this game when you're doing this. So it definitely could be a game that you could teach a lot of different other games with or refer back to. But for what it is for 15 minutes, it's a ton of fun. There's been lots of laughs and every time I'm always at the edge of your seats and we always have to be, wait, like which one do we reveal first? Is it gonna be a seven? And it's mm -hmm. just such a good experience. Yeah. And I foresee us introducing this game just to many individuals sheerly because of how fast and how fun it is for what it is. Yeah. Yeah, the speed and the way that this game is, I think, really, really are like its bread and butter. Mm -hmm. um, it makes it the game that it was. If this game was any longer, I think it would be a miss for me. If it was shorter, I don't even know if that's possible. Um, <laughs> you would question it. Yeah, uh, but this is like, it's in its zone where it should be, and mm -hmm. it does a good job. So if those, for any of those reasons, don't speak to you, then Wonderwood's probably not your game. But if any of those reasons speak to you, then obviously it's definitely something worth checking out. Try it. It's 15 minutes if you have a chance at either your local game store or a convention. See what you think, because we were really curious what your thoughts are for Wonder Woods. Exactly. And that brings us to our question of the day. Tell us about mushrooms. Do you like to eat them? Have you had a fun foraging experience? Do you have any mushroom stories? Or maybe do you just hate them? Do you never want to see them in anything? Oh. I love mushrooms on pizza. Ooh. That's what I will say, because I don't really have experience with foraging or anything like that. I used to go around as a child and like kick them, and or like pick them up and throw them at people. No. <laughs> Mischievous child! I think maybe I did throw them at people. It was like a snowball fight almost. But... What if they're poisonous? Um, I don't think so. When I was a little boy, I actually used to forage mushrooms and my parents taught me like 20 different varieties so I would, could identify them. And I think it's because I was so little, it was easy for me to like be near the ground. Yeah. <laughs> so I had my little knife that I would cut the base off and if there were worms in it, I'd be like, nope, bad mushrooms. So I have to cut up to see if like where the worms end. So then you just leave those. But if no worms at the stem, they're good, they're clean. And then I collect them in my little basket. And now I barely, I don't think I remember, I remember what they look like, but I don't remember any of the names. They were also in Russian, so it was, uh, yeah. yes. Hmm. So yeah. it was very wholesome, and I want to go mushroom foraging again, because it's very fun. Nothing like my experience. I didn't throw them at people. So. <laughs> Let us know about any of the experiences with mushrooms. Maybe you, maybe you, maybe you don't like them, maybe you like them. Maybe Why did you point them. at me? I love oh, mushrooms. I was like, like them and love them, opposites, oh, yeah. Okay. Um, but, uh, yeah, let us know down below in the comments. And have you, are you looking forward to this game? Let us know what you think about this game. If you, you're able to try it, just uh, chat with us because we make board game content weekly and we love talking about board games. And if you're curious to know how this game is played, we did a separate how to play video that you can check out right here. Wow. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye.